Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Shinobi Life 2. Uh, today, I'm going to be going over the Gaiden Kusanagi V2. Yes, this is... I want to say it's Sasuke sword, really. Uh, but when I look up Sasuke's actual sword like on Google, it shows Sword Kusanagi. So I'm not really sure 100%. Uh, but also, this might just be a different name for the sword in the game. But at the bottom right hand corner, when you pick this sword up, it says Sasuke Sword 2 or something like that. So it's definitely Sasuke's version of the sword in this game. Uh, so guys, I'm going to be showing off the spawn location. And we're going to be start playing around with the sword just to show it off and have some fun. So if you like the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Also, if you want to be in my videos, go join my Discord. It's in the description, the link. And you can come have some fun with these guys. That's what they did. I literally put my put my private server code in my Discord and they came and joined me for a video. Uh, so I guess let's just go ahead and get to this, guys. Uh, the guy in Kusanagi, it's really easy to get to. Um, go to the training grounds. It spawns at 325. And it's a 1 in 60 chance. So basically, you want to come over this way. Let's just pop this mode to go faster. Let's just pop the mode from the beginning. All right. And you want to come to this monument right here. So here's your little training logs in the middle. It's it's real easy to find, guys. Real easy. You just got to actually get it to spawn. So you want to come to this monument thing over here. And then it's literally going to be right here. Right in this area is where you're going to find it spawning, guys. Uh, no, nothing to it. Really nothing to it. Now, the cool part is... Okay, we're just going to use this sword just a little bit. Look, see... Uh, I want to really see some damage from the sword, which is kind of unfortunate. You can't really get to see like damage like that. But here's the cool thing. Okay, here's this sword. Um, it said, being Sasuke's sword, it throws out Amaterasu. But watch this. Watch this. I want to get a little bit. I want to somebody that's a little bit further range away. Watch my run. If he'd get out from behind the tree, <laughs> look and pop. That was my Y'all saw so I threw the sword, and it literally teleported me wherever this, where uh, wherever the people were, wherever the sword was, and it did it on Matrosu. Now you can also throw it. Look, I'm just gonna throw it. Boom! It literally put me over here on the other side of this tree where it blew up, and it's got a pretty quick spawn time, guys. So, um, just looking at. Oh, let's go to this dude over here. Can we reach this dude? Get him. Boom! So, that's pretty sick. So, you got 1,200 damage, and then you got Amaterasu. Uh, pretty sick. <laughs> Why are y'all dudes chasing me? That's funny. Okay, watch. We'll just get him. We'll just get him. Watch. We'll get all everybody with the Amaterasu. Oh, we got this dude. This Minato-looking dude. Oh, it must be level 300 PvP. Okay. All right, so let's crank this up a notch. With the Lightning Cloak. And, bah! wait, wait. I'm not cool down yet. Look, let's get this ten tails. Oh, I missed him! But y'all saw how far that freaking sword... That, thing, that thing's got... This thing is good for, I want to say, movement or scroll hunting. If you're trying to scroll hunt and you need to get somewhere fast, have this thing out. Because look, I don't miss a step at all. I keep running. Uh, look, watch how fast I... T look, we're going to wait this thing to cool down. And we're going to see how far I can go. How much ground I can cover quickly with this. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Look at all the ground I'm covering. Boom. Right way over here. That is a cool perk about this sword. Watch. Right, once it cools down, we're going to hit all these dudes. We're going to hit them all. Hit them all. Hit them all. Somebody else got the Gaiden Kusanagi V2. Look. Boom. Shockle. Oh, did it kind of... Hold on. Was that me or did it look like it kind of... It kind of homed in? Hold on. We got to look. Check this out. All right. Let's, let's, let's do this. See if it kind of homes in. I don't want to get you. It did. It's got a curve to it. Now, I don't think it curved enough to get that dude. But it did. It does have a little curve. It's not as good of a curve as like the Vanishing Rasengan. But looking at it, it definitely has a curve, fellas. Let's uh let's let's go like this. I think we can hit him. We're aiming like this. Yeah, it definitely curved. Which we missed them though. That's that's interesting. So maybe there's a little bit more things they need to work out on this sword, or maybe that's how they meant the homing to be. They wanted you to be more precise on the aiming of the aiming of it instead of like the vanishing Rasengan, where it just 
you throw it in the direction and it really hits them good. Um, but, I mean, boom. Right there, a lot of damage, uh, guys. So, this is the Gaiden Kusanagi V2, guys. Uh, really awesome weapon. I'm glad I have it. This is my main weapon that I use just because of the fact that I'm a Tarasu and it's the rarest weapon. It, oh, well, would you consider weapon art? Uh, a weapon I don't know it's really a mode but um this is really the rarest weapon in the game it is uh unless they have some holiday special or something or like I don't know unless they have something something special uh, as as far as base weapons go this is the rarest one in the game 160 shots so guys I want to say thanks for watching remember if you like the video drop a like and subscribe um Gonna be doing some more of these videos, so make sure you go join my Discord. Thanks for watching, and God bless you.